It's nice to be back home, um, being gone for a couple tournaments in a row and, and uh, being back for a dual format. Uh, it's going to be nice to have our crowd here, and, and uh, it's going to be an alumni celebration night. So we're going to get a lot of ex-wrestlers back, and, and I think it's going to be a real special event. You, you see some positive things, you know, and, and uh, we haven't had that team effort, you know, where everything kind of came together, and that's okay, you know. And I told our guys after the Southern Scuffle that I'm not panicking, um, you know, because every once in a while you see a glimmer and you, you see some good things happen with some different individuals, and you, you see the potential of some individuals. So if we can get everybody, um, you know, wrestling to their potential and hopefully above that and come together, then, then we're going to be a pretty good team. But we just, um, we, we haven't had that, you know, and, and we've had guys step up and, and wrestle hard, um, and then other guys falter and, and wrestle poorly. So, you know, we still, we're still looking for um, that, that unity and a and, um, little bit more teammanship, you know, our guys wrestling um, together a little bit better. Yeah, you know, those guys really broke through and, and wrestled well. You know, Bryce was seated number one, so we expected him to be right there. And, and he, he not only lived up to that, but he, he really um, didn't have any close matches. You know, he, he controlled everything throughout the tournament. So that was good to see. And then Drew and Tanner were surprises, you know, and that, that's, that's good things. You see those guys break through and have some big wins um, that they've maybe been struggling for. So then, you, you know, you get excited about it. We come back. Um, after Christmas and, and go wrestle in a much tougher field. And, you know, sometimes um, we had guys wrestle well like Drew that just things didn't go his way. You know, he wrestled well, but drops down in the constellations and his first match is, is against the, the uh, returning NCAA runner-up, you know, and that's, that just shows you how tough of a tournament it is. That guy got knocked off in his first match. So we hit him first out. Drew wrestles well still, puts himself in the match, has a chance to win it. I think he's um, that's a guy he can and will beat. But, you know, you're, you're in that type of a tournament, and, and you have that happening. Um, you have uh, Archie Colgan knock off the number 9, 12-ranked guy in the country, uh, and then he comes back, and his next match is against the number 14 guy, and, and he wrestles him right down to the wire. So you see some positive things, um, but, you know, you just you don't get caught up in the positives. You look at, at those other areas, and we're focusing on those, those other guys stepping up and having some breakthrough wins, but also consistency, not just a breakthrough win. You know, that's great. Great in a dual situation like Saturday, some guys step up and have breakthrough wins, but we need them to come back and be consistent week in and week out. They're an up and down team. They start off really hot, uh, and then the last couple of weeks they struggled a little bit. And and um, you know I expect them to to come in here ready to get back on track. Um, we've done well against them the last several years, and so you know like I said, it's a special night for us too having our alumni here. I hope our guys dig a little bit deeper and wrestle for the tradition of this program. But you know OU's going to come in and try to make a statement and get back on track and like I said they started off the year hot on fire as good as anybody in the country um, and they're kind of a young team so if their young guys you know are, are wrestling well then it's going to be a tough duel um, but if we can take it to them you know and take the fight to them and make them feel this thin air up here uh, I think some good things can roll for us and, and you know we can have a, a really exciting duel on our hands.